what's good y'all it's your boy the huskamanian back in the building with another fire video today man i got the falk mastery 40 epic one skin and i got the method and if you grinding this out man you could definitely get this in under 24 hours i am not capping this is not clickbait but before we get into the method, I'm gonna need you guys to do me a huge favor and smash up that like button. That way we get this video out to the community to be able to help out as many people possible, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we always dropping hits just like this right here on the channel. Now I ain't gonna hold you guys any longer. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Huskamanian. Yes, sir. It's the Huskamanian. All right, guys, if you just tuned in, man, we've been grinding out these specialists. So far, I got Falk, I got Pake Mastery 40, I got Rao uh, Mastery 40, and I got Boris Mastery 40. Your boy is level 93, so I do know my way around the game. With that being said, Let's get into the weapon loadout that we use to grind this out to level 40. So the best weapon that I chose and I think personally is the best suited for this specialist is the SMG category. Now, depending on which SMG you have unlocked will be determined on which one that you will use. But um, I found that the K30 was just letting off too much bullets that I needed. And then I tried the PP29 and I felt like it had too slow rate of fire so i decided to go with the mp9 because it was just right in between both of those you know what i'm saying so this is uh what i got on it i run with the dd halo because i like that triangle sight you know what i'm saying i like that on there um i'm also running the close combat drum on it even though it feels like when you shooting this thing off it, feel, it don't even feel like a drum is on it and it's crazy because when you reload the gun he reloads a clip he doesn't reload a drum i'm just saying then we running with the bcg light grip um you know what i'm saying to get some better accuracy because you know when you shooting this thing it, it, it automatically starts aiming toward the ceiling and um you don't have to run the heavy suppressor I would recommend um, the tactical muzzle brake for the vertical control. But you know what I'm saying? I, I, I wanted to have some fun, so I was running around with the big heavy suppressor. Plus, it makes it look way cooler. So now we get into the gear. The gear that I recommend is a smoke grenade because when you're trying to get those heals, you might have to pop a smoke grenade or two just to get that one heal. Um, I didn't use these too much because I found that when you throwing that smoke grenade sometimes, that's taking up a second that uh, it could take to get to that revive because people would like to cancel out and leave. And not only that, you, you're fighting other healers that uh, for that revive. So, you know, sometimes it's necessary, but sometimes it's not. For the gadget, I like to use the insertion beacon. Because I like, when I'm in position, I like to drop the box. And just in case, if I die trying to get a revive, I could respawn right back in the exact location. I, However, I did notice a lot of healers was running the medical crate. And don't quote me or not, but I'm not sure if this counts towards the mastery level or not. But I also did see a lot of people running that. But I found that, uh, why would you use that when she has the, the, the pistol to be able to shoot to heal people? So I really didn't understand that. If you guys do, uh, let me know down in the comments section. But um, you definitely want to run with the insertion beacon, though, because you want to be able to respawn. Ain't nothing worse than respawning half the map away from where you was just at. It gets, um, it gets old quick. That's why I use the insertion beacon. So for the game mode that you want to start Falk off with is you want to start off with Breakthrough 64 Solo and Co-op. Now you want to start this game mode before you take this character online to go head up with online players because it's way easier to level her up fast with this method. Because remember, we trying to get this done the fastest way possible. You got 2,400 healing that you have to do. And this is the fastest way that's going to get you there ASAP. Now, the only thing is it does cap off and it caps off when she hits 
level 12 so keep that in mind you can grind this all the way to level 12 before you have to hop online all right guys so let's get into some gameplay now falk is simply a uh, support specialist she is not the defender she's simply there to um support everybody on the team now if you understand that and know how to play her role then this will help tremendously with you trying to get the most revives and healing your teammates more effectively now i done played in a bunch of lobbies with a bunch of epic um healers and i i i'm like 95 percent of the time i always finish number one healer by following this method right here i don't usually typically engage in gun battles only if people run up on me the entire time that i am on the battlefield i am hiding behind my teammates healing them you want to find out on your map where the gun battle is uh, going down at and you want to stay behind your teammates the entire time in healing them not only that you want to be aggressive with the heals and you don't want to go for anybody that's over 64 meters out if you see like 130 meters out don't even waste your time if they're not close to you to where you could just snatch and heal snatch and heal then don't even worry about it now you are going to be going up against other healers so keep that in mind if you see a lot of healers in your area that's um taking your 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 re your revives you might want to choose a different um i call them hordes you know what i'm saying and I, I always um feel like the way i was looking at it was like i summoned an army and i gotta keep my army alive that's how i was looking at it so you want to stay behind your enemy uh, your your teammates and maybe like try to find like a group of like five or six guys and then you just want to be the guy that's healing and taking care of that six um group or, or more you know what i'm saying depending on how many healers is around you now if you keep doing this eventually you're gonna get better and better and then you're gonna find yourself just getting in the rhythm of getting these heals but you definitely want to walk around holding the the medical pistol and just hitting every single person that needs it now everybody once your teammates take damage they glow and they uh they have a white outline with the uh the medical patch on their head now once you see that those are the people that you want to shoot with the medical pistol and you 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 really want to be walking around with this this drawn so that you could shoot as many uh teammates that need healing as soon as they need the healing so with you doing that and then you being aggressive with the revives to everybody that's in close proximity of you you're gonna finish as a top reviver i found that doing this um definitely was um getting me the numbers that i wanted very fast now um i said to use the smg only simply because while you're in the process of getting these heals you're gonna run across people in, in close range and you're gonna need to put them down really fast also as you're trying to get the revive somebody could try to run up on you and then you can lay them down and then pick the guy up for the hard to get um situations the hard revives to uh say like somebody is down and you know the enemy is there you can also throw the smoke grenade and take it have it have cover to be able to run out there and get the revive at the same time so just a couple quick tips if you hold left on the d-pad you can heal yourself as well so uh if you're taking damage just go on the cover real quick heal yourself and then get right back to the battle um a quicker way to heal yourself is to shoot the area that you're running to that way um you could just run to that area and heal yourself faster whichever um situation for whichever way the situation calls for is is what um what, the, what i was using and another quick tip is if you slide over the body before you revive you could get there in a couple seconds faster because you don't know how long the person is uh gonna sit there and wait before they respawn 
or how much time they got left if they did wait so keep that in mind as well but that's pretty much the method man if you got the more that you stay in tune with the role that you're supposed to play as the medical and not be out there trying to get kills and get distracted with what everybody else is doing you stay focused you'll have this skin unlocked as soon as possible like i said man it is possible to get this in under 24 hours i am a uh, product of my environment i got it done man this is this is real footage this is uh you know what i'm saying i ain't out here capping or, or clickbaiting people you know what i'm saying this is what it is and i figured i wanted to help you guys out because I, I also noticed that a, a lot of people are running the uh the falk specialist it was like a, a one game i was in it was a whole team of healers and i'm like nah they doing it wrong you know what i'm saying so i wanted to put this out to help you guys out man hopefully i was able to help you guys out if so make sure y'all smash up that like button for your boy man because your boy out here working and grinding and the grind ain't easy you feel me but much appreciated hopefully all y'all enjoy y'all day make sure y'all check out some of the other content that we got here on the channel as well i'm out of here though peace